I want to deal with a topic that's been on my mind lately. I've taken notes. I've written down ideas. And it's a topic that we just don't hear. I don't think there's many people that's aware to the level in which I'm about to reveal. I'm going to take my time with this, and I think this is a topic that is going to take more than one video because there's just so many levels to this spiritual gateway that had been open, especially within the so-called black community. I really don't know what to title this video, but I've written so much down on a piece of paper from homosexual porters, portals slash gateways, spiritual portals. From triggers that keep you connected to that demon, be it abuse psychologically, verbally, cutters, people that are considered cutters that torture themselves to make themselves feel better because they're going through depression or some form of trauma that happened in their life. Spirits of the dead walking. Now, I had a vision a long time ago. And I talked about this vision on my dream channel. And every now and then, the thoughts of that vision come back to my mind because it makes me wonder when this is going to come to pass. You know, certain dreams and visions will stand out in my mind. And this happens to be one of them. But the more I think about it, the more is being revealed right now. I now realize that that dream slash visioning is happening right now. The vision was about me seeing the dead rising and walking the street and people see their dead loved ones and trying to communicate with them. And they were zombies. Well, this topic and the ones that follow will give somewhat of an insight into People communicating with their dead loved ones, their dead ancestors, and even people that they don't even know. Spirits that have taken over the bodies of humans just to be able to operate in this realm of existence. The night of the living dead. Satanism. Now, I was just watching a video this one YouTuber, formerly known as Super Sly 75, and I want to give a shout out to him. Now his new channel is Heavily Flawed Individual, and he was talking about this TikTok group or cult called Daddy's Girl. And he played the interview with this girl that was an alleged former member of this cult. And everything she talked about tied right into people being controlled by spirits that are now possessing the living. And people have opened themselves up to these spirits by way of Feminism, by way of the LGBTQ community. And I'm going to talk about that too because that in itself 
is a portal. And when I speak on that, this is not displaying hatred toward that community. I'm talking about the spiritual side of that, things that people don't see. They see the results, but yet they don't realize that that spiritual being made manifest. And I want to talk about people, mainly men or males, that repress their homosexual desires. These are dudes that are homosexuals, closet homosexuals, down low homosexuals, that's living a double life. So it's repressed, but it comes out in other forms. For example, and I'll speak on this in a later video, so I want you guys to subscribe and stay tuned. It manifests itself in him being abused by a woman. He's in a relationship where he feels that he loves this woman. He's trying to save this woman because she has problems of her own. In his heart, in his spirit, he's got homosexual desires that he's repressing. That he's not allowing to manifest. But the manifestation is leaking because he now submits himself to a female. That could be much smaller and weaker than him. He allows her to physically and mentally abuse him. He won't fight back. But yet, if family members or friends try to intervene, even if women of his family or around him try to go at this female that's abusing him, he would in turn defend her, protect her, do the same thing that women do when a men abuse her, make excuses for her. That's a form of that repressed homosexual spirit that's trying to take possession of him, complete possession of him. And I will be talking about that in a later video. I also want to warn a lot of black men and a lot of black women not to get caught up in the madness, the battle that's happening on YouTube. Because a lot of these accounts that appear to be against black men, these same accounts that support channels like Cynthia G, Paris Milan, Chrissy, and the likes, most of these channels that speak the loudest and that create the most division, they are not manifesting themselves. They don't show their face. In many cases, you don't hear their voice to know whether or not that is a black woman, but they will have an account set up that looks like it could be a black woman. They may have a photo of a cartoon of a black female, an avatar, of a black female. And you would think that it's a black woman going against black men, but in reality, it's a channel that's run by a black male that's getting his jollies off on causing division between black men and black women. Getting black men to respond. And he usually follows people like Cynthia G. She's the number one and there's females out there 
that's trying to be and patterning themselves after Cynthia G. So they try to pattern themselves after Cynthia G, Chrissy, Paris Milan, and such. But notice these channels, again, don't have photos of themselves. They don't have videos of themselves. And if they do upload videos, they are videos that someone else created. That's against black men. That's talking interracial relationships. Promoting interracial relationships. While at the same time, referring to black men by racial names. Referring to black men as dusties and telling black females to get away from black men. Now, someone commented on one of my videos. And you would think that it's a black woman that's behind that channel. But I commented to her or it. And I said for that person, that individual to make a video and reveal themselves so that we would know who they are because they were trying to thank me for helping them to be free from black men. And so when I responded and told that person to make a video, show yourself so we'll know exactly who to avoid, who to stay away from. And I said, show us that you are not a troll that's just looking for views and attention. And the person never responded again. So there are channels out there that's being ran and operated by either black males that are getting their jollies off on creating division or fuse between black men and black women or they are white males or white females that's creating division between black men and black women. You think it's a black woman by saying stop having babies because this person questioned me and said, well, why are black men mad that black women don't want to have their babies? And I responded and said, because it's dumb. Because number one, she cannot run from herself. So it doesn't matter who she lay down with and who puts a, a baby inside her stomach, that child is still going to come out melanated at some level. Hence, still giving birth to a so-called black child because regardless if it's the black woman or the black man, that child in society will still be looked at as a black child. They are biracial. So you can't run from you. You can't run from who you are. And of course, there are black females that feel that way. But that's okay. Just move on with your life. That's all you have to do. Be happy with whomever you're happy with. You don't have to deal with black men. You don't have to make videos about black men. You don't have to... Tell black men, we're not having your babies. It's okay. Maybe it's time for other men, other races of men to be put through the child support system by you because we know that in most cases you're there not for that white man or that Asian man or that Arab man or Middle Eastern man. You are there for their money. You are gold digging. For their money. We know that. So it's not even about love. And once you have their baby. You control them. Especially if they have money. Look at what's happening to a lot of these so called rappers and entertainers. That many of these females. Primarily black females have babies by, with. And now. After a certain time period, they divorce these men and take almost half of what they own. Look at what Dre is going through, Dr. Dre. 
Tyrese, look what Tyrese went through. And he got on camera crying. What more do you want from me? Remember that? So, brothers, you have to be careful. Not just brothers, men have to be careful who you pump a baby into. Because in many cases, they are not for your own best interests. You have to test these women. Before you lay down, test them to see where their head is at. I made a video and talked about how in today's time, men and women don't talk anymore. They just get together, make babies. Don't know much about each other. And then somewhere down the line, they start learning about that person. And they start learning that I really don't like her or I really don't like him. And now you have a child or children in this world that you now have to share. Because you never took time out to talk to that person to get to know that person. But there's so much that I want to talk about. And I've made notes on these things. About anti-black men, black feminists. Again, be careful of these accounts. That's talking the loudest. But yet they have no photos, no images of themselves. And the videos they do have, if they have videos, are videos by someone else to make you think they are black women, but in reality, they are not black women. It's just a troll creating division and getting subscriptions, which later on down the line, they might end up monetizing. So just be aware of that. Be cautious of that. But like I mentioned, I had a vision a long time ago and I'll put the link to that vision on the bottom. Now, there's two other channels. I have more than two, but there's two other channels that I'm really trying to build. It's my dream channel, but I also have Bible topics on there, which this video is also going on. And I encourage you to go there and subscribe. I'll put the link in the bottom in the description box. Check out all the links that I have in the description box. But I had this vision where people were trying to talk to their dead loved ones. The dead was rising. They were walking like zombies and people were trying to communicate. Well, it's come to my understanding or overstanding that the dead people that were walking were the people of today that's being used by spirits that have possessed them. We see that right on YouTube. We really don't have to go far to see that because we see it right on YouTube. There are YouTube cults, not just the cult that Super Sly 75 was talking about, Daddy's Girls, where you have this female controlling these other females. If you look at Black Lives Matter, it started by lesbians. Well, this Daddy's Girl, Daddy's Girls, it's a lesbian. That's got other females calling her daddy. Hence, daddy's girls. And she's got females not only sending her money. But got these girls cutting themselves. The power of the internet. How do you allow someone on the internet to have that kind of power and control over you. I just don't get it. Now, I understand you have your favorite YouTubers. I know who 
follows me. I see who follows me. I see who are loyal in a sense to me. Not to the point where I would have them calling me daddy or I would have them calling me God. You have to look out for people that want you to look at them as God or as daddy. And a lot of times it start real subtle. Like I'm going to name some YouTubers that are at certain levels, at some level is a cult. And I'm going to tell you why. I mentioned Cynthia G. I mentioned Chrissy. If you look at Nature Boy, because people talked about Nature Boy and him being a narcissist and him controlling these women and these dudes. And how he made Velvet feel like the special one. He'll make certain ones feel like the special ones to create hostility among the crew because everybody wants his attention. Everybody wants to feel special. Because in reality, they are lacking things in their own life. So they allow this person to lord over them. Not realizing that they are setting themselves up for demon possession. Especially when they start talking ancestral religions and they're doing meditations and chants. So be careful of the people like Nature Boy, Kevin Samuels. And I'm going to show you why. Kevin Samuel does this thing where, and he has, good, he has great content. I used to listen to him a lot and every now and then I may listen, but I listen mainly uh, when these women are talking. He's talking back and forth with these women. That's the part I, I usually watch and I'll fast forward to that because like I said in the past, he really has nothing to teach me, right? So, but if you watch, if you listen, he'll tell you to get those likes up and if you don't like my channel I'm going to punish you and see that's what Nature Boy did if they did what he didn't want them to do or if they didn't do what he wanted them to do he would punish them in some form or another he'll take something away from you that should be a red flag so Kevin Samuels would say get the likes up or I'm going to turn this show off I'm going to stop the show right now. And then he'll go to the music and he'll have a still image up where the music is playing until you get the likes up to where he wanted to be. That's control. Tommy Sotomayor does the same thing. Tommy would curse you out. If you don't like his video, regardless if you like it or not, if you want to continue watching it, you have to like it. Or well, if you, ha you have to hit that cash app, and if I don't get $1,000 by this time period, I'm going to cut off the live. And then you start seeing people paying him the money that he wants. You have the angry man. He used to be the angry man channel. I watched this dude go from rags to the image of ri uh, riches because I say the image because no one really knows. Because people can be one way on the internet in another way in real life. So you can give people on the internet um, the image of you driving nice cars, you smoking a cigar, a fat cigar, and you uh, wearing these nice clothing, and you got jewelry on your arm, and you're talking about Bitcoin and and all of this investing and whatnot. So that gives the people the image that you are on your game. That you're making a lot of money. That you really, you're balling. You're a baller. But in reality, you're not because you're still wanting them to hit the cash app. Right? So, and you're telling them that if they don't do it, then I'm not going to let you hear me. 
or the only way you can hear this topic is go to uh what's that other app they have on there um where you have to pay to see their videos right and so people like him and then he'll sit up there and smoke the fat cigar and he'll show your Mercedes and he'll talk about Bitcoin and 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 this is the money you gave him. And then he will yell and scold you. These are dudes that will scold you and tell you, if you don't give me this, if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to shut my camera off. And you would obey him because it's a cult. Young Pharaoh. Look how young Pharaoh, look how humble he was at one time. Now look on, look at young Pharaoh. He get on camera and, and he's making mockery of you because you put him where he is. And now he's going to floss you struggling in life. And now he's showing off his house and he's showing off what he has. And then going to tell you, he don't even like you. Polite, same thing. You know, so. If you're on Medicaid, how would you like it if your caregiver was your daughter, your son, your grandchild, or close friend? If you're on Medicaid, Freedom Care can help you hire the caregiver of your choice, and that caregiver will get paid. In fact, Freedom Care now offers instant pay, so your caregiver can get paid instantly as soon as their shift is done. Call 315-509-6212 and talk to Freedom Care about having your friends or family take care of you and get paid to do it with instant payments. No more worrying about getting care from an aide at an agency. Freedom Care helps you choose who you want to take care of you and that person gets paid. Call Freedom Care at 315-509-6212. That's 315-509-6212 to enroll in this program now. You get a caregiver you know and trust and they get paid instantly as soon as their shift is done. Enroll now by calling 315-509-6212. That's 315-509-6212 or go to freedomcareny.com. You have dudes on YouTube that have their cult followers. They'll punish you if you don't like them or if you don't do certain things that they want you to do. Right? And you guys fall for that. So there's a lot of hurting people out there, man. And people, they fall for these, these scams. You know, it's easy to scam the so-called black community. And I can see how... Blacks were taken into captivity. How easy it was. And the same spirit of those black tribal leaders in Africa and the spirit of those black slave catchers, those Africans that captured their own people and sold their own people into slavery, that spirit still exists today. That spirit possesses the so-called black people today because the same thing they did, you are now doing to each other. So you have some level of Satanism where we're living in a time where everything is now reversed. Everything is reversed. Good has become evil now. It's a bad thing to tell the truth. You will get blocked off YouTube, off social media for telling the truth. But if you lie, you become popular. Criminals are being rewarded for being criminals. And you have honest, everyday people, people that's trying to live clean lives, are being punished for being good. And many of y'all have fallen in line with that satanic agenda. It's insane. Just sitting back watching. Watching the walking dead. People that have passed on. Or better yet. Let me scratch that. People that have not passed on. That have been trapped in this realm. They have not moved on to their destination. Yes, we have unclean spirits around us all the time. 
And see, that's why it's important for you to have Christ in your life. But yet we have now people that's possessed with these unclean spirits are convincing you that Christ wasn't real. The Bible is a fairy tale book is what they tell you. And once they get you to turn away from that and to curse God, then they destroy you. The Bible tells you that Satan comes but to kill, steal, and destroy. But Yeshua says, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. See, so we're living in a time where people are choosing death instead of life. But these are a lot of topics that I'm going to end up discussing. The things that I've written down and I'm still writing things down. Ideas are constantly coming to my mind. And I'll either put them on my new channel that I told you guys about or I'll put them on my dream channel. But there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. A lot of heavy stuff, man, that, that's, that's delving into the unseen realm. Things that are happening in the natural. But yet, their root base is spiritual. Because there's a lot of possession going on. There's a lot of people, their dead ancestors are acting out now. They're coming back. These are not good spirits. I'll repeat, these are not good spirits. And you don't need a Ouija board or mirror magic to open those portals. You don't need that. You're involved in sex magic in many cases and don't even realize it. You don't even realize it's a ritual. Sex magic is a ritual. You don't realize it. When you are a cutter or you have someone to to convince you to cut yourself, that's a form of blood sacrifice. I want to see blood is what they say. When you take a life for no reason at all, you just feel like you want to hurt somebody. You want to harm somebody. Check your spirit. It's not right. You could be possessed and don't realize it. That spirit could have just blocked out your your consciousness or your moral values, have taken possession of you And now you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do. And your family notices it. But what's sad is in many cases your family see it. Do nothing about it. Become used to it. Just accept it as the norm. Oh, that's just how she is. That's just how he is. And move on. And now you have the spirit of this dead person, so-called ancestor, it could be someone else's ancestor, not yours. See, because you've been so caught up in ancestral religion that you think it's your ancestor. And it's not. It's somebody else's ancestor. As a matter of fact, there are so many so-called black people that have conjured up the spirit of their slave masters, dead ancestors. And now you have the spirit of the white man's ancestor resting, ruling, and abiding within you and carrying out racism and discrimination against your own people. I'm going to repeat that. You have the spirit of your ancestors' slave masters possessing you. And now you're carrying out his will or her will against your own people. Hence, we now can't give birth to black men. 
Black men are dusties. Black men are niggas. All of these things that you say about your own men, your fathers, your brothers, your sons. Is that you speaking? Or is that the spirit of your ancestors, slave masters speaking in you? Because you conjured them up. You called them forward. You dabbled into the dark arts, had no idea what you were doing and who you were calling upon. You called, they answered. So let me ask you a question. When you called upon your dead ancestor, at least you thought was your dead ancestor, who were you calling? Do you have any idea what their names were? Did you do research on Ancestor.com to find out who your peoples are? Or are you just going by what you heard someone else say on the internet? Someone else told you who they think your ancestors are and then you adopted them as your ancestors just because they're black. So you called upon these people that you don't know, nor did your ancestors know. They just answered the call. They're sitting there chilling wherever they are, and they heard this call, and they answered you. It's like playing with a Ouija board. You don't know what spirit is behind that board, but that spirit will make you think you're talking to your dead mom or your dead dad or your brother, your son. It will answer your call. And then you start crying and carrying on and you invite that spirit into your life. And it creates nothing but havoc in your life. Well, that's what many of you have done. And if you look at people like Cynthia G, look at her face. Just watch their behavior, their movement. The eyes never lie. Just look at their face. And if you have any type of discernment, you would know that you're dealing with a malignant spirit. You would know that you're dealing with a demon, an unclean spirit. You would know that if you have any form of discernment. So be careful who you open yourself up to. Be careful. Because when you hear about zombie apocalypse, they talked about this some years ago. And now we start to see zombies being manifested every single day. And guess what? These zombies are not just those people strung out on drugs that's walking the street looking lifeless. No, zombies are right here on the internet, smiling and laughing and talking to you, interviewing you, telling you to press one. And look at the work that they're doing. Listen. You would know them by the fruit they bear. You would know them by how they live their life. You would know them how they treat you. There was this female that I commented on her video. And she started out talking real good. I subscribed to her channel. And she was talking about divine masculinity. And she was trying to explain that there's people that were talking about how she was bashing black men. And she was saying that she wasn't and she loves black men and blah, blah, blah. And she's basically trying to instruct black men on how to be men. Right. So the more I listen to her and I'm like, okay, she sounded pretty good. But then as she got further in her video, it's like something took over. It's like something clicked in her head. And she got into niggas this and niggas that and F this and these niggas. And and I'm like, wow, this woman is, this female is real toxic. And so I commented and said that she was extremely toxic. 
but she was talking about toxic masculinity and she just, just shifted. Just started cursing and going off and it all became negative. That whole energy, I felt her energy and it was so negative. And then when I sp responded and told her that, her that she was real toxic, of course she came off on me. And then she ended up, your mama. Your mama is this. And I kind of laughed because I'm like, okay, I see where this female's mentality is now because that's child play. See? And she, I guess she expected me to react because she said my mama. But I'm not a child, so that don't phase me. It's only revealing her. Her mind set. You know, her intellect. That's all it's revealing. So after a while, everything she came back with negative, I came back with positive. Thank you. She what was that she called me? She called me um old man. The old man, right? But yet she was just now speaking like she was some divine goddess, you know, and talking about divine femininity, divine masculinity. And now she's calling me old man. So I said, apparently your parents didn't teach you correctly. Didn't teach you to respect your elders. You know, is that what you do to elders? You know, you disrespect them like that. And I said, yes, thank you for calling me an old man because I've reached this age. I'm 60 years old. Not that old. Look good for my age. Right. But I'm like, you know, thank you. Because hopefully one day you would reach this age because at the rate things are going now with this pandemic. And there's a lot of people that did not come out of 2020. There's a lot of people that did not come out of 2021. I personally know people that died from the vid. I know this. And I'm thinking like, wow, it's really crazy. And if you look at the numbers, the numbers they say that died of the vid, you know, look at the millions of people that died. And you're still here? I'm still here? I saw a woman, one of my customers in the store yesterday. And um, she saw me. And she was like, hey, how you doing? And we talked. It's an older lady. And and she was like, it's a good thing we're still here. I said, we're still here every day. You know, we're still here. But it's, but it's interesting that we have to say that because so many people didn't make it out of 2020. And they did not make it out of 2021. Every year takes a number. And watch, we're coming upon a time where the death angel is going to just go through and collect. The collector is going to come through and collect that death angel. Every year takes a number out. And usually around this time, it's the celebrities you're going to start seeing that's going to be dying off. You know, celebrities are going to be dying off. You know, every year takes a number around this time. I say around October, November, around November, you know, celebrities start dying off before the end of the year. Every year takes a number. Watch, we're going to start hearing about all of these celebrities dying before the end of the year. Every year takes a number. So, and a lot of these people that's being taken are like, in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 20s. They're not old at all. They have not reached that age. So it's a blessing to be old. So when someone referred to me as an old man, oh, that's a blessing. Thank you. Because I lived this long. Because many young people are not living this long. See, so if anything were to happen to her and the death angel collects her soul, then the first thing I'm going to think back on is I can see why. Her spirit was so toxic. But that's off the topic. So you got to be careful, man, who you attack. You know, especially when you start talking about old age. I remember Paul told Timothy in the Bible to like not despise his youth. You know? Don't despise the youth. Well, the same goes for don't despise the elder. 
Your elder, don't despise them because they made it to be elders. Especially when a lot, a lot of y'all are not being, not making it. The death angel is collecting your soul. And you got the audacity to think you're doing something by saying, oh man, thank you. It's a blessing. My gray beard, I wear it proudly. Sometimes I let it grow full. But I wear that proudly. I don't dye that because it's a badge of honor. I earn that. Because so many people are not living long enough to get this, this whiteness in their hair. That's a blessing. There's wisdom behind that. And if you're smart, you'll listen to wisdom. When wisdom speak to you. You know, I mean, wisdom will tell you how you were able to live this long being, having brown skin, like my brown melanated skin. How are you able to do that to reach 60, about to be 61 and never been locked up in jail? Never been locked behind bars, never been enslaved. Because when you go into slavery in the prison, you're a slave. When you go to prison or jail, you are a slave. That's in the Constitution. See, slavery was abolished except for if you go to jail or if you go to prison. Then you become a slave. I've never been enslaved. About to be 61 years old and never been in jail. You should be asking the, the gray beards that have never been incarcerated, never been enslaved, maybe you should ask them, how did you do that? I remember I was talking to my cousin and um, Lawrence, love my cousin Lawrence, and he's passed away now, but he was in Vietnam. And I remember Lawrence had, um, he had a, he had a suitcase full of fo nothing but photos that he took over in Vietnam. I want that suitcase too. And I think one of his daughters got it. And I spoke to her um, a while ago and I wanted that. She said she didn't know if she still had it. But I want that suitcase because it's got so much history in it. And it had pictures of him and the Bushman. And he was, you know, his like he took when he was in Vietnam or whatnot. I mean, he had a whole suitcase full of those photos. I want those photos. And next time I go to Philly, I'm going to see if I can get it. Or if I contact her, I'm going to see if I can get those photos. Um, but I remember I was talking to Lawrence. And I had asked him, and um, I had also asked my 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 uh, platoon sergeant um, when I was in the military, because he was in Nam. And I used to ask those older men, I used to say, how did you make it? Because when you're in war, a place like Vietnam, and, and you're, in the, you're in the woods, and you got rounds flying. I remember this preacher told me that, um, that was in Vietnam, and he was saying that he was in the foxhole. And he had uh, one person on one side, one person on the other side. And he said that um, they was hit with um, with incoming, be it mortars or whatever. And he said that that explosion killed both men on each one of his side and left him standing in the middle. Both of those guys got killed and, and he was left standing in the middle when they were hit with um, with those mortars. So... Or whatever it was they were hit with. It could have been grenades or whatever. But he said that both of them were killed. And he was left standing in the middle. And I remember my cousin was saying that he remembered that he can hear the rounds. The bullets whizzing past his ear. You can just hear them whizzing past his ears. You know, because bullets were flying. And I was talking to Lawrence and I'm like, how, how, did, you, how did you make it? You know, how, do you, how did you prevent yourself from being killed in Vietnam with all those rounds? That's whizzing past your head, past your ears. You can hear it. There were dudes that got hit in the ear, you know, or they were wearing like the steel, uh, steel pots, the steel helmets, and around hit their hit hit their steel helmet, you know, save their life. But that's how life is. Sometimes life we're living in a type of Vietnam. Where rounds are constantly whizzing past us. Could be pestilence. You know, could be um, gang violence. Um, locally here, this woman was shot in her back, in her house. 
she was in her house and got hit with a straight bullet, came right through and hit her in her back. Right? So a lot of people didn't come out of 2020 and they're not coming out of 2021. So the younger should be asking the gray beards, the old men like me, as she called me, how did you do it? What did you do to stay out of jail? And you're still doing good for yourself. How did you do it? But instead of them asking those questions, they want to attack your grayness. They want to say, old man, old woman. And they're attacking old women in the streets, snatching their purses. You know, so, you know, you should be, you're not asking the right questions. And you wonder why your sons are losing their lives. Your daughters are losing their lives. And yet you have now become in that become a part of that satanic agenda. You've become a part of that. You know, where you are now at war with good. So let me end this because I'm already on 50 minutes, over 50 minutes, and I didn't mean to go this long. I didn't mean to talk about the things I spoke on, but more videos are coming and I'll probably do individual topics on like the homosexual portal slash gateway. It's a spiritual portal. I'm not talking about the lifestyle or the person. I'm talking about that spiritual portal that you open up. That homosexuality opens a portal. And when you open yourself up to that portal, you notice different things begin to start manifesting in the flesh, in the natural. And for those of you that are on the down low, that are repressing that lifestyle because you don't want it, it still manifests itself by you submitting and taking abuse and protecting your abuser. Or you are messing with children or animals. So it will manifest itself in many ways or you're in and out of prison. You can't stay out of prison because... You have a life in prison. You are accepted in prison. So I'm going to end it right here. I'm over 50 minutes. Uh, share this video. Subscribe. I'm going to put a link to um, my two channels. My dream channel. Slash. I also talk about the Bible on there. And uh, Galactic Nirel. Which is a very new channel I just created. I'm going to put those links on the bottom. Um, you can go there and subscribe. Feedback. Tell me what you think. But there's so much stuff that's happening around us. And if you don't take time out to slow down, you'll miss all of the spiritual wisdom that God is showing us. Just be still. And know that he's God. Until next time.